Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to the next video in the AWS Amplify playlist. If you've been following along in the series, you'll recall that at the end of the last video, I said that we'd be removing Amplify UI's default auth component and implementing authentication using our own login and register React components in this video. However, I know some of you will want to use the default Amplify UI auth screen. So in this video, I'll show you how to customize it. Then in another video, I'll show you how to use our own login and register components in place of Amplify's default. To get started, I'll jump into VS Code, then open the components folder, then the common folder, and open the site nav component. Here, I'll delete the links for login and register and add a link to log out. Then I'll jump into the app.js file, remove the imports for the login and register components, as well as delete their routes. Then I'll jump into the home page component and change the text on the get started button to view contacts. Then I'll import link from React Router DOM, then wrap the button in the link element with a path to the contacts route. I'll save the file and jump back into the browser and check our changes. Here we see our logout link and a view contacts button, which when we click it, loads the contacts page and logout brings us back to the home page. Now, as we saw, when we clicked the logout link, it did bring us back to the home page, but it didn't log us out of the application. So what I'd like to do now is implement that logout functionality. Here, I'm in the Amplify Dev Center documentation for Amplify UI and the React components. Under connected components in the authenticator section, you'll see that there's an example for signing out of the application. Here they have a button and they bound the onClick event handler, which calls sign out, which is passed in as part of the authenticator. So now I'm gonna jump back into VS Code and what I wanna do is pass sign out as a property to the site nav component. So here in the site nav components element, I'll pass sign out as the value of a logout property. Now I'll save this and jump over to the site nav and on the nav link for the logout, I'll replace the href attribute with an on click event handler, which calls a handle logout function. Then I'll add the handle logout function, which will invoke the logout method in the props. So now what I need to do is add props to the site nav function declaration, save it. And now we can go back to the browser click logout and nothing happened. So let's jump into the console and we see props logout is not a function. So let me jump back into VS Code, go back to app.js uh, and it's a typo. So I'll change that to logout with a capital O. Let me just copy this and jump back in here and just make sure the spelling's correct. Now let's jump back in the browser, let's reload the page. There's no errors. So when we click logout, we're taken to the sign in form. So I'll go ahead and sign in again, then view contacts. We see our contacts page and we can log out. So now that we have the logout functionality implemented, we could go ahead and start customizing the default authentication component. To get started, we'll jump back into the Amplify Dev Center. And again, under connected components, inside of customization, we'll see examples on how to override and customize the default Amplify Authenticator. So if we scroll down a bit, here's an example of a customized Authenticator. They've added an image to the top, a sign into your account text, some social media icons, and a copyright. So for our site, I'd also like to add an image to the top which will be the Contacts app logo image, as well as add a copyright. So if I scroll up a bit, we'll see inside of the Authenticator component that they're passing a property of components. So let me copy this and jump back into VS Code, and I'll add that inside of the Authenticator. Now I'll go back to the docs and scroll up, and here we see the declaration for components. And inside, there's a header. So I'll copy this, jump back into VS Code, paste it in, 
close off the components declaration, then modify the image. Then up where I import authenticator from Amplify UI React, I also need to import view, image, and use theme because they're used in a header definition below. So now I can save this, go back to the browser, and we see the logo at the top of our page. So now let's jump back into the docs and we see a declaration for the footer, which has the copyright. So I'll copy this, go back to VS Code, paste that in, modify the text, and then jump off and import text from Amplify UI React. I'll save this, go back to the browser, and here's our copyright. So now I'll log in again, log out, and we still see our customization. So that concludes this video on customizing the default Amplify authentication component. I hope you found it useful.